Just as we warned you yesterday, the Dow today drops below 20k. Global economic collapse is unfolding. Anyone that thinks this is stopping at 18k is straight smoking rock. Dow 10k is highly likely. World production is cratering, which means demand destruction and debt collapse. We are witnessing the largest global empire in all of mankind coming to a complete and utter standstill. Just think about that for a moment. This is the Great Reset. I hope everyone has guns, ammo, food, and some precious metals. There's no printing your way out of a debt bubble that's now in the quadrillions. The market is completely broken at this point, and we are at the beginning of the biggest depression in human history. And when the debt bubble pops, it will be heard on the other side of the solar system. American exceptionalism is coming to an end. The illusion is over. People should wake up and get their heads out of the clouds and deal with reality. The stock market never has doubled in value in four years and never will, and stay that way, as long as nothing in the market landscape has changed to justify it. All of you who are shocked and dismayed should only be mad at yourself for not critically thinking. The only one to blame is yourself. This crash is proof of the following, greed is not good. Jim Rickards has mentioned a theory called ICE-9. The end result is a one-world currency and the end of capitalism. New world order in a few months. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. The modern economy as we know it is based on nothing but debt. One big Ponzi scheme that has plundered and pillaged our country for more than 75 plus years. It all needs to fucking crash. The unelected, unaudited Fed was given the godlike power to create money and still fucked everything up. The American economy has been limping along for almost 20 years now. It's really piss poor. Hell, we never really got out of the 2001 or 2008 recessions, because none of the underlying problems have been fixed since. All the virus did was simply expose just how weak the American economy really is. The American economy simply can't handle any shocks to it. It's built only on paper and speculation, and the slightest wind will knock its house of cards down easily. That is what you see now. There is going to be wave after wave of bad news, and I don't see how they can keep this thing afloat. This is it. Only a miracle can save this. Not even the Fed. The canary in the coal mine is Glass-Steagall. If they scream uncle and promise to reform their wicked ways, then you know they are truly desperate. The CEO's salary cuts to share the pain with the little guy, and the admission that stock buybacks were for bonuses, was part of a PR campaign. They of course have a solution for the problem they created. A new global currency that unfortunately will be under their control. Same as it ever was. The Bolsheviks will stop at nothing to protect their fiefdoms. These pricks are all in to save their NWO and global financial system. When the dust settles and ashes clear, we can only hope that they went with the Great Fire. Washington taxpayers are looking at a sizable bill for the COVID-19 health care costs, brought to you by the liquidity trap. One classic way to end the trap is massive asset deflation, including gold and silver. Buckle up bucko, it's going to be a bumpy ride. 12 years old and growing, maybe 40 years, Reaganomics. The gigantic sucking sound is the capital destruction of the Western world economies. Party unlike it is 476 fall of the Western Roman Empire. The government tyrants are going to bail out the airline industry to the tune of $50 billion. An industry like many others where companies have spent all their cash and profits on buying back stock to enrich a handful of investors and executives. This would be an opportune time for brave Americans to take back their country, kill the Fed. Otherwise, this country is dead. We all know the bankers can print money out of thin air and manipulate all markets all of the time, up or down. The stock market can only go down due to the express volition and direct action of the bankers. In other words, if the stock market goes down, the bankers did it. The bankers are responsible for any and all market crashes. In a fiat money world, this is a fact. Only bankers can make the stock market go down. Nothing else. No natural disasters, no nothing. As long as there are computers and electricity. 
The bankster-owned Fed and other central banks create booms and busts while profiting on both the upside and downside. All stock bonds, commodities, and real estate markets are rigged by the international criminal banking cabal. As asset prices plunge, the banksters will be there to buy them up for 10 cents on the dollar. The virus is not the cause of this economic collapse but provides a convenient cover for the gangsters and criminals who now control our monetary, financial, and governmental system. Let's hope that there are enough people out there who are able to ignore the 24-7 propaganda and focus on the true enemy of mankind who is destroying our nations and civilization. And a good place to start is the privately owned Federal Reserve, which was established in 1913 in violation of the US Constitution. They are resetting the system, but there will be no arrests. The power that be know the system is no longer sustainable, so they are either using the virus as cover, or the virus was created to give cover. Healthy people, like myself, will be just fine. However, the pain will be intense, and no, there will be no mass arrest, maybe a few perps walk for the show. What do things look like after the reset? I am not sure, but the initial view will be vastly lower standards of living for the middle class, and most of the poor will be killed off in one way or another. Tough times to come, but don't expect justice from the scum that is orchestrating the reset. This is not a pandemic, it's a reset. When you realize this, then the pieces will come together, especially when you see that your very healthy friends and family will be alive and well in a year, although possibly struggling economically. In a week to two weeks time, when all the business have been forced to close down, when kids have been home from school without any recourse to daycare, when nobody ventures outside due to fear and uncertainty, when all the industries that cater to hospitality, service, and travel are forced to lay off their workforce because no one is patronizing them anymore. When individuals find themselves unable to pay for food, their mortgage or rent, or utilities or bills of any kind, no one buys movie tickets, cars, or vacations. Then it will be the corporations too that will find themselves unable to maintain their operations and ability to function. At this point everything from, utility companies, telephone, internet, communication, cell phone service providers, entertainment, movie studios, television conglomerates, logistics and transportation, air, land, sea, energy companies, oil refineries, social services, hospitals, firefighters, education, for-profit universities, food production, Tyson, Archer Daniel Midlin, the entire gamut of every aspect of modern life in the global current world order will collectively cry out for a reprieve as both the poorest and the richest, the largest and the smallest all being now so inextricably linked will with one voice shout that the only way to save the entire world will be to reset the entire economic system. Then, this happens, this is when and where all the streams of conspiratorial theories all run into the same great ocean. If you want to stay in your home, keep your lights on nay, keep electricity itself on, from the point of view of the electric companies, feed your families, make a living, in other words, return to, normalcy, then you will have no choice but to take the new economic dollar, a cashless, connected to the internet, always track able and traceable, replete with a microchipped population, because coronavirus, with the new owners of the organs of modern tech and industry overseeing the entire enterprise as they will have bought out all that collapsed for pennies on the dollar. The companies and corporations, of course, will be the nodes of dissemination. Here, they'll say, is your vouchers for six months free utilities and services until we get society sorted out again and you can get back to work and back on your feet, just take the chip, sign these papers, and abide by these new, metaphysical terms and conditions. There, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Welcome, home family. The elite, the CEOs, the rich and famous are all bugging out while the reset occurs. This coronavirus is merely the pretext to reset the entire global economic system, itself a virus, totally fraudulent, and splitting apart at the seams daily. Don't be fooled by the virus that never was. Look around, open your eyes. As the old Native American saying goes, don't listen to anything the government says, instead watch what they actually do. Look at what is happening, society itself is being closed down, businesses are being forced to close or will have to close down due to lack business, trade disruption, schools, churches, courthouses, parades, holidays, all ceasing operation at the drop of a hat, people under quarantine, curfew, and socially distancing themselves all for a virus with a 0.02% mortality rate. That makes no sense. Because it's not about a virus at all. This is being used as a casus belly against the old economic order and ushering in the new one. Don't be fooled by the daily virus nonsense. See beyond where this is heading. This was all planned. 
The plan can be discerned if you have a wide enough and high enough view of the horizon. Lastly, there is another element at play. For every force at play, there is an equal and opposite force at work. The market was going to crash anyway. This is all a cover for their incompetence. Better to blame a virus that is no worse than swine flu, than themselves. The illusion of freedom, in America, will continue as long as it's profitable to continue the illusion. At the point where the illusion becomes too expensive to maintain, they will just take down the scenery, they will pull back the curtains, they will move the tables and chairs out of the way, and you will see the brick wall at the back of the theater. Frank Zappa. 1940-1993, rest in peace. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. Thank you.